Hello everyone, so I have a drawer with marine footage and I wanted to start using some of it. This is filmed in Amami Oshima, one of the Ryukyu Islands in the south of Japan. It is filmed with a static camera in a small tide pool directly in front of the reef at low tide. It will give you a good idea of what fish live in these communities and maybe you'll spot a fish or two you have not seen often. The most common fish here are yellow striped blackfish. I had not seen these before, so I had to ask brownfish expert Pete Liptrot what they were. So thank you for the ID. These are grazing on algae on the rocks and there's a huge group in this tide pool, maybe 40 or so individuals. To those of us that keep freshwater fish, they look like Lake Tanganyika cichlids of the genus Trophius. Sergeant Major damselfish are really common in nearly any ocean location in the subtropics and there are tons of them here, including some species I had not seen before. The Indo-Pacific sergeant and also the black spot sergeant occur here. They are also in large numbers and can be found in many places in the south of Japan. Striped-tailed damsels and blue damsels, on the other hand, would be expected here. And these damselfish, especially in the really small sizes, are common in the tide pools and are even in the warmer, standing, shallow pools that have just ankle-deep water. This was a cloudy day and you can see the color change brought on by the sun. The camera is sitting at arm's length from the surface on a small ledge. With the sudden light change, several species of wrasses started to come out from the shadows of the overhanging structures and flew past the camera. I find these hard to identify even as adults, and in the Ryukyu Islands there are many wrasse species, so the names here may be incorrect. These juveniles often look different from their adult stages. There are several Luciana species here, including black spot bream and black tail snapper. Ought to see these as individuals and not in a huge school. Their presence in the tide pool feels unusual, but there were many of them under a nearby dock, all around the same size. There were many young raccoon butterflies in this tide pool. They had totally disappeared when I approached the pool to place the camera, and took a good 20 minutes to come out of hiding. Eventually, they would be out in deeper water, and there were around 12 of them. Surf perches, on the other hand, are really estuarine fish, and we saw other Kulia species well inland in pure freshwater habitats. The masked bannerfish was a surprise. Observing this tide pool from the rock above, it never showed up. But this camera was running while we went for lunch, and I guess those bannerfish only come out when there's really no movement above for a while. This one individual spotted grouper was the only predator on this video, not counting herons and other birds that stalk around the reef in the low tide. It appears only for a moment, but I am sure he has an easy time hunting all these fish in the tide pool. Convict surgeons also feed on algae, and I've often seen them in places that are off the reef, grazing on hard substrates that have some algae growth. There are no more than a handful here, but I think surgeon fish are not typically in such shallow water, where they can get caught in tide pools. The only other tang was this single individual striated tang. They are likely very common in deeper water, and don't venture into the shallows like this on a regular basis. I hope you enjoyed this marine video, we have a few more of these from other locations and when there's time to edit them I'll publish them as in a marine playlist.